guys. Why am I a robot? Watching a couple different YouTube videos and researching a little bit about makeup tips. Um, to like do like a cute, cute, cute <laughs> oil-free poi, 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 pore minimizing. Um, I almost called it foundation primer. <sighs> Try that again. Take two. So we're gonna start. <laughs> makeup tip video. I was recently researching on my Pinterest and on different YouTube videos, different types of way to put on your makeup, little trick tips and tricks that you can do um, to make your makeup look really good. So I found one that was really interesting about Flawless Foundation. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen a ton of videos like this, but I was like, you know, what? I want to give it a try because I haven't tried it yet. So why not make a video of first trying it? So what it is, um, is putting powder like your setting powder on your face after you do your primer before you put on your foundation. So we're going to give it a try. I'm going to do half my face in that tips and tricks method and the other half like I would normally do. So we're going to get ready into this video. So just remember the tip to this is that putting on your primer, you're supposed to put on your setting powder very quickly um, right after to have it set in to make a mattified look, to make it also a flawless look. So we're gonna make sure this side is our mattified flawless look with the tip and tricks. And this is going to be my normal size. So I've already kind of put some primer on my fingers and I'm gonna go through and just wipe it on my face. Um, I've been getting tons and tons of big pores, so I definitely need to use this pore filler. Remember this side, is my DIY side, or tips and tricks side, I should say. I'm gonna take my NYX Minerals Set It, Don't Fret It, ooh, I'm apparently dropping it everywhere, um, setting powder, and I'm going to put it on this side of my face. So I'm gonna dip my brush in. I'm using the Eco Tools Mattifying Brush. And I'm going to just set that into my face. Don't lie, this is a little, a little weird, but, you know, we gotta try it. So just looking at it right now, like this side looks so more matte and less shine free than this side does. Like matte, a little oil, you can still see all my oil on it. So, so far, that's interesting, I will say. I'm going to use my Born This Way in Natural Beige Foundation and my Oval Foundation Brush and do a couple pumps. Um, I guess from what I researched is a little goes a long way on the side that you already preset um, versus all the products you would normally use on just a face that you would do your primer on. So we're going to see how this goes. So I have a little bit right there and I'm going to just kind of dab it on each side of my face and then I'm going to start to kind of blend it in words so so far I can see like it's making it really good coverage on my face and it's not taking a lot of the products because again I don't know why I just did that with my hair um again I just put a few dots on my face like you can see here just a few um and it's definitely blending it in nicely and it still looks really matte to me. So we're going to take this and now we're going to finish up covering my face which I sometimes feel like with this foundation I need to put like a couple different layers on my face to um, set it in. So we're going to kind of just finish that off and you can totally see like there's like no real shine to it, but you can see like all of the dewy like look without doing that method, which that's actually pretty cool. Um, so I'm just gonna finish just doing that real quick. And 
After that, it says to set your foundation again on your face on both sides, of course, um, to just finish up the mattifying look. So I'm just going to kind of set my face all over again and show you up close. Hmm. Okay. So it's supposed to set your makeup pretty much your foundation in. Um, I normally don't do that powder stuff after I put my foundation on first. I do my cream contour and then set my whole face, but that's just my routine. But coming up closer for you guys to see, like look at the coverage on this side, like with doing that powder, I look like I'm fully covered, very flawless finish on it. And then on this side, I'm still dewy, I'm still a little oily, and I feel like I still need a whole nother layer of foundation on my face to look like I'm fully covered because you can still see like right here you can still see all of my pimples with doing the two different sets you can definitely see some patchiness where the line meets um for my face because it's literally like two different textures on my face but I think I kind of like I think I really like this side because it does in the video and like looking in the screen it looks really like flawless and a good finish compared to this. I mean, this looks natural and glowy still, but this looks like I'm ready for a photo shoot. You be the judge. So let me know down below if you tried this tip or slash trick uh, on yourself and how you feel about it. Also, let me know if there's any other ones that you'd like to see me try. If there's any other tips and tricks out there for makeup that I haven't learned about or know about. Let me definitely know down in the comments below. Please like this video and give it a big thumbs up. Share it if you haven't already shared it. Follow me on all my social media. Hit that notification bell if you want to become a part of the Sheikster family. Subscribe to my channel and remember to leave your love. Bye.